that's just fine. We'll sort it all out. It just takes time. You mean more to me than winning the fight. I'm letting it go. I don't have to be right. So let's give peace a try. So let's give peace a try. So let's give peace a try. I don't have to win. That's just fine. We'll sort it all out. Well, guys. Welcome back to our Tag Kids Studio, where we're talking about peace. Peace is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. When we play competitive sports like basketball, we play to win. But is real life the same? In today's story, we'll find two teams ready to fight it out. Brandon? What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm afraid to guess. I'm celebrating my victory. <laughs> you beat Kellen in the so-and-so show basketball tournament? And now I'm doing my victory dance. Woo. How did... She's like... And I'm a winner! He's John. And Pose. <laughs> okay, I got that out of my system. Thank Welcome you. to the So and So Show! Hey, in a couple of minutes, our very cool and tall friend, mm -hmm. Kellen, will be sharing a Bible story with us that I'm sure we'll all enjoy. Yeah. But first, how exactly did you beat him? I mean, you can't play basketball. I wouldn't say that. I would. Here, flashback. Listen, I know I'm not good at basketball, so I used a strategy. Yes, a strategy. A strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay, what kind of strategy? I gave Kellen the wrong address to the game. What? He didn't show up. I won my forfeit. Didn't have to play a single minute. Boom! Hit it! There's no music. It's in my head. It's victory music. Okay, well, I don't know if I'd call it a victory. I mean, you basically cheated. Kellen's gonna be mad when he finds out what you did. No, 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 no. What, you think? No, no. <laughs> hey, that chicken doorbell means it's time for... Uh, someone who knows stuff. No. Are you sure? I mean, yeah, that's what the doorbell is. Males and females, children who have been born, let's prepare to watch some fighting! Oh, wow, that was amazing! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man, come on over here. Yeah, come, come on. on. All right, so uh, tell us who you are and what do you know? My name is Bill the Hurt Weathers, <laughs> and I'm a... Oh, wait, 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 let me guess. You are a florist. I'm a boxer. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what was going to be my third guess. Yeah, so that seems like a very difficult job. Yep. It is, it is, and it doesn't always feel good. Right. I hear the thorns and the roses can be deadly. Again, not a florist. Oh, right, right. Hey, show us some of those punches. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. Thanks. Yeah. I worked hard for a long time to get that good. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and I bet those skills come in handy outside of the ring. What do you mean? Well, I don't know, you know, someone says something mean to you and you can be all like, no. Well, never. What? Why, wait, 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 why not? Well, I'm a professional boxer. Mm -hmm. It's a sport. I only fight other professional boxers in the ring. 
Not random people in everyday life. Wait, so you're saying if somebody walks up to you and says, hey, Bill, you couldn't hurt a fly, you little weakling, you would not be tempted to just take him out with one punch? It's not about what I want to do, and it's not about what I could do. I choose not to fight other people because I don't want them to get hurt. But, but your name is Bill the Hurt Weathers. In the ring, outside the ring, I'm more like Bill the Quiet and Peaceful Weathers. Like, so I've got a, I got a scenario for you. Let's say that you had a friend, all right, and your friend invites you to play basketball, all right, but they give you the wrong address for the game, so you have to forfeit. Hey, you don't have to answer that question. It's, it's... What kind of lousy friend would do something like that? <laughs> You'd fight him, wouldn't you? Huh? I know what I want to do. Let me show you. I give him one of these. Then one of these. And a couple of these. But you know what I really want to do. Please no more! I asked him. I asked him why they told me the wrong address. Maybe he had a good reason, you know? Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, 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 that is. Hey, thanks for coming on the show today. Yeah, thanks, Bill, the florist weathers. Not a florist. Hey. Hey, one more flourish for us. Yeah. <gasps> <sighs> hey, you know, I think it's time we check in with our old buddy Kellen. Wait, 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 wait. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bad about tricking Kellen. What if he's mad? You should feel bad. I should? Yes. So, 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 so what is Kellen gonna do when I start talking to him? Is he Gather round, kids. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears wide because it's Bible story time with Kellen! How you guys doing? We're doing great, Kellen, how are you? I'm sorry. Um, okay, for what? That, you know, giving you the wrong address for the basketball thing. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, it's okay, man. Really? Sure. You're not mad? I didn't say that. Hey, Kellen, you got a Bible story for us today? Yes, and it's an amazing story found in the book of Genesis, chapter 26. It's about a man named Isaac. And I thought I could tell you the story with a video game. Bam, 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 bam. Oh! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Who do I get to play? You will get to be Isaac. John, you will get to read all the thought bubbles. Got it. Peace quench. The story of Isaac's wells. Oh, that sounds exciting. Oh, a map. Let's see, we're in the land of the Philistines. Yup, so let me give you some backstory before we start. You're playing Isaac, the son of Abraham. There he is. Isaac lived in the land of the Philistines, so he was kind of an outsider. In fact, the Philistines were very jealous of Isaac because God had blessed him with lots of plants and animals and servants. After a while, the Philistines, they noticed how powerful Isaac was getting. So their king, that's me by the way, Abimelech traveled to see Isaac. Isaac, show yourself! Oh, yeah, it's battle time. Oh, dude, look at your army. You're gonna totally take out this king. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, King Abimelech? Move away from us. Oh, and then Isaac says, no way, you're going down! No, look. Okay. Isaac could've totally wiped out the king right then. Yeah, but he didn't. Instead, Isaac moved on to the Valley of Gerar. Now, there were a bunch of wells that belonged to his father, Abraham. The Philistines had filled them, but Isaac thought he could go back and dig them up and find water. That's one of my father's wells. Clear it and we will have water. Good day. I know. Yay, water! Who are these guys? Oh. We are herdsmen. 
Get away! This is our well! Oh, get ready to fight. Okay. But Isaac said... Okay. What? Come on! And so Isaac moved on to another well. Ridiculous. Hit A. I know. I'm sorry. That's one of my father's wells. Clear it and we will have water. This is the exact same screen as before. Shh. Yay, water! We're herdsmen, get away, this is our well. And let me guess, Isaac says, okay. <laughs> right, of course, another great game, Kellen. Yeah, awesome. So again, Isaac and his men move to another well. A. That's one of my father's wells. Clear it and we will have water. Right, they do it. And then the men do it, and then Isaac say, yay, water! And then these weird herdsmen that Isaac could completely wipe out show up, but he doesn't do anything. Wait, okay, now the Lord has given us room. Now we will be successful in the land, finally! Mm. Keep watching. Hey, that's King Abimelech. Mm -hmm. I'm back, baby! Oh, okay, maybe now Isaac will wipe Abimelech out. We wanna make a peace treaty with you. You are powerful. And if you treat us well, we will treat you well. And Isaac said, deal. Let's get some food together. The end. Kellen, these these games you bring us, man, they are they're awesome. No, no. Kellen, what an incredible story of peace. Isn't it though? Isaac could have fought Abimelech and the herdsmen and just taken everything he wanted by force. But sometimes if you want to show people that they're more important than stuff, you have to walk away from a fight. Ah, oh, so that's why you're okay that I tricked you into forfeiting the basketball game. You're walking away from a fight? You got it. My relationship with you is way more important. Plus, I'm not really that great at basketball anyways. You want a rematch? Nah, you take this one, but I'll be waiting for you when we have our lacrosse tournament. Woohoo! Sounds fair. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime, fellas. See you later. You know, John, I think... Men and women, cats and dogs, horses and antelopes, it's time to reveal the question! How do you walk away from a fight? Like this. <laughs> Can you let someone else win, even if you're stronger and smarter than they are? <laughs> Talk about it amongst yourselves. Yeah! We'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show! No fighting! No fighting! No fighting! I'm running! I'm running away from a fight, Brandon! I, I'm a running! You're running in a circle. I'm a running away from the fight! Running away from the fight! Dun, 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 dun. Running away from the fight! Let's go, let's go! Oh. Ow. The fight found me. When you're in a competition, you're taught to play hard, to not give up, because when you give up, you lose. Winning is the most important thing. But everyday life, is not supposed to be like a competition. And yet, we find ourselves fighting for things that really aren't worth fighting for. We fight over who gets to go first or who picks the restaurant. We fight over who's right and who's wrong about what we believe and what we think. And we fight to win holding on to our side with all our might until the other side gives up. But answer me this, what's more important? What's really worth fighting for? 
Is it your relationships with other people or is it being right? The problem is that we feel as though if we give in, then we're losers. We think that that makes us weak if we give in. But you know what? That's just not true. Making peace doesn't make you weak. In fact, it takes a lot of strength to be the one who walks away from a fight. And if you don't think that you've got that kind of strength, then you can ask God for help. The one thing that I want you guys to remember from today is, prove you care more about others by walking away from a fight. Prove you care more about others by walking away from a fight. In tennis, winning is important. But in regular life, why not try letting someone else win every once in a while? How did you go last week exploring peace together with your families? Why don't you print out this week's table talk and start the conversation with today's question. How do you walk away from a fight? Don't forget to check out the God Time cards. There are four exciting activities for you to do this week. Thanks for joining us today at Tag Kids. If you have any questions, prayer requests, or any other needs, or just want to know more about the Tag Kids program, please contact me on the following details. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.